Hey guys, and welcome back to Minecraft. We are going to do some random things in t today's episode, and we are starting with the spider farming. And uh, I have been AFKing here for about 45 minutes, I guess. Uh, yeah, so let's see. Let's see how much wool we can get. Sorry guys, my, my game is uh, freaking out a little bit because of the spawner. But let's see. I don't think I will be uh, getting 30 levels, but... But let's see how high we can go with this. So, how are you doing guys? I hope you are well. I hope you are healthy and happy today. Um, I have been unfortunately sick for this past week. I have been pretty much um, in bed and popping some <laughs> pain meds like candy. And uh, if I sound a little bit off today guys, I apologize. I have been uh, taking some pain meds today also, and it's it, it can affect my ramblings a little bit. So hopefully we can still manage to do this episode just fine. Okay, spy spideys. Hmm, they are really down. Uh, f far. Uh, far down there. Okay. And you are glitching there, apparently. Okay, XP balls, come here. <gasps> Yay, guys! 34 levels. That's excellent. And that also means that uh, I was making some healing potions, guys, for for uh, some specific reason and I will show it to you guys in uh, a little later in this episode. So yeah, uh, 34 levels, le levels that's excellent and that means that... There you go. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, that means that uh, we are able to do some enchanting in this episode too. So yeah guys, I wanted to come here uh, to basically farm some wool because we are going to need quite a lot of it in uh, some of the future projects and I will get to it in just a bit but hmm yeah not a full stack even how much is here I guess I will just take take what's here left and that's fine. Okay, so so let's go. And thank you. Let's go and do some other random things. So yeah, uh, we will need a lot of wool for uh, decorating. I think we are starting to decorate the house more in next episode. Well, hello. Hello si there, sir. There you go. Have a nice day. Uh, yeah, we are going to start decorating in the next episode. And we will need a lot of wool to make uh, furniture. And especially in a uh, bibliocraft mod, we will need a lot of um, wool for those furniture. So. So that's the reason why we are farming wool so much. But yeah guys, we are here at the greenhouse and I still haven't made the pathway here. That's going to be one of those uh, future projects that is, that is coming very soon. But there has been some changes and I will just 
go through all of them with you guys now. So let's start with the greenhouse. I added some some little details like the water barrel here and some nice lanterns. And I actually had to expand the greenhouse by I believe it was two blocks because I completely forgot that uh, I was missing few other um, vanilla plants that I uh, mentioned in the previous greenhouse episode. So I uh, actually was um, missing the um, what is it called? The oxide daisy plant and the azure bluet and uh, this uh, desert bush what's right here and was was there something else yeah these uh, big ferns so i i was thinking that uh i really want to have all all the possible um vanilla plants that we have here so there's the dead bush from the desert and the fern and all the uh, different color tulips and allium blue orchid, poppy, dandelion and oxide daisy and the uh, yeah the azure bluet so I actually went to that tiny little um, whoa <laughs> didn't mean to do that that tiny little um, piece of plains biome that we have right next to the spawn and it's actually right in the middle of the dark oak forest that we have right next to the spawn and I was able to find those missing plants there which was which was quite lucky and I found that um, dead bush of course in the desert so I did some changes I added the missing plants obviously and the bigger fern I actually didn't even know that um, you can grow these big ferns by using bone meal on these tiny little ferns so I I thought that uh, they are two different plants but anyway so I added uh, another little shelf here and there's the dead bush and another little cactus and the sunflower and I was happy to see that um, when you plant the uh, vanilla sunflower to a um, flower pot you can actually place it anywhere you want the plant is always going to face face you no no matter where you are going to place it so it's not going to uh, behave the same way as these uh, big bigger versions and I really like how this how this smaller um, sunflower looks in this um, flower pot. So we will definitely going to use a lot of these uh, vanilla plants as we are decorating decorating the house. But anyway, so the uh, greenhouse is now completely finished. And I'm really, really happy that we have all the missing plants now here too. And I also added a little chest here that is full of bone meal. And and yeah, so we are definitely going to going to come to this greenhouse and harvest a lot of plants later. And I also did some changes here. I actually moved the melon and pumpkin farm here because the chicken chickens were were uh, trampling all my crops in the garden. They were jumping down of of these melons and pumpkins and ruining ruining the soil and all that stuff so I decided to to move them here there's plenty of space here for them to grow and and we also needed some some more space um, in the garden for some some of the uh, crops that we have yet to find so yeah uh, I believe yeah I showed part of this place in the previous episode already and I did some work on this area as you can see I filled the pond that was here and I have been clearing out this area a little bit this is going to be the place for the new uh, stables so that is also one of the one of the future uh, building projects that we are going to do the the new stable building so yeah I believe that was all on this part of the 
part of the yard. So let's see. Yeah, the uh, pathway is going to be done very soon. We will have to see if we have some time in the next episode to do, do that. And let me think. Yeah, um, unfortunately guys, our garden chicken Tilda passed away again. <laughs> I think that uh, she may have drowned in the fountain or something, but I haven't be been able to find her. There is one, one um, random chicken here somewhere. I just, just saw her. But anyway, yeah, Tilda is gone. So sad. And I'm thinking that I probably won't be adding any, any more. Um, any more chickens to this garden, you know, to roam roam around freely because they tend to die or try to escape like like this fellow here. So yeah. Uh, yeah, so this was the place where the pumpkin and pumpkins and melons were growing previously and we will need um some more space for the missing crops anyway. So so it's good that they are now uh, on that other location. So let me see, there was something else. Oh yeah, I actually, yeah, as you can see, I cleared out all the uh, chests here. And I also made a little uh, garden shack here for the garden tools. And we have a little tool rack here for all the hose and uh, the shears. And there's also some buckets and the chisel right here. And I really love these kind of little uh, details. And there's also some water barrels around the garden. And let's actually see, did I put the uh, bee here? No. Okay, that's fine. So yeah, that's the garden. And it's pretty much finished now. As I said, there are some uh, some plants that we have yet to find. Uh, that are part of the harvest craft mod, and uh, yeah, hopefully we are we are going to find them in some of our future um, exploring episodes. Because as I have mentioned, I have I I'm um, a pretty uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Ah, oh, sorry guys. I'm telling you, it's the pyramids. Yeah, I'm um, I'm sort of a uh, collector. I like to collect all kinds of things. So let's take few chicken with us for the dogs. Oh, there you are. I bet you smell the chicken. There you go. And Molly is hanging hanging out in the kitchen. So uh. Yeah, and this is one of the new things too. So I made this. Whoa, a little bit lag. I made this um, map from the um, from the garden area and the, around the house, and I'm going to add these these maps from all the residential areas that we are going to build to this town. And basically, I'm just going to make a whole a uh, huge map that covers all the all the um, occupied areas, all the uh, parts of the town, and it's going to be great. And I'm probably going to place it on my office or something. But yeah, let me think, guys. I actually have a little list here. I. I think, did I do something else around the house? Actually, let's go here. I'm just going blank. I still need to fix this entrance. The up upper level there, I need to take it one level down. And there was something else. Actually, yeah, let's go inside. I need to... I need to get some seeds. There you go. So yeah, I I made a little chicken farm here because I felt that the pups are going to need some 
some more whoops actually we need to make the pup sit first there you go yeah the dogs are going to need some more variety for, for their diet besides the one and only uh, zombie jerky so I made a little chicken farm here and these chickens are are here basically just to to farm them to get some chick uh, some raw chicken and uh, feathers as well so there you go a whole bunch of baby chicks there you go so yeah and we also need some some chicken to uh, to do some trading with the villagers so that's that's why I made that little chicken farm there and I also need to do some um, farming with pigs as well because so many of the villagers unfortunately have a uh, obsession with with pork <laughs> so we will need to have a lot of pork to be able to unlock um, quite a lot of the traits so let's see um yeah we are going to do a lot of random things today so let's see where are the dogs oh they are inside oh silly me so let's see uh huh actually yeah let's go let's go here I need to collect some sugar cane because I thought that we could actually go to the rock side in and uh, spend a little time uh, trading with the villagers so we will need a lot of uh, paper for that and sorry guys my game is freaking out for some reason that's super annoying okay so I guess that's oh there's some some left okay and what else do I need let me think Hmm. I think I have quite a lot of beads. So let's go get some some more things that we can trade with the villagers. Oh yeah. There's a lot of beads here. Okay, so they go and 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 Actually, let's go get some emeralds too. They are few villagers. Oh, I don't even have that many. Whoopsie. Um, yeah, there are quite a few villagers that um, I need to unlock their traits. And there's also some new villagers. So let's go and meet them. Okay, pups, come here. And there is some uh, some new changes here as well. And this iron golem definitely is one of those. And this guy here, I actually made him. So uh, this golem did not spawn by himself. And I believe that's because there are not enough um, doors in in the rock side in for the golems to spawn. But anyway, that's fine. I thought that we could use some some uh, help in this area because sometimes sometimes when I'm using the zombie spawner, uh, the baby zombies somehow get out of this this place, even though I have blocked this this area. So they they are somehow glitching, and I have noticed that. Uh, Several times a baby zombie zombie has been standing here and staring at the doors. So I thought that uh, if we have the iron golem here, he will be 
taking care of all those all those little fellows that are trying to come in and mess with the villagers okay come here pups and where there is the pork okay thank you and daisy too come here daisy okay come here girl there you are and there's some more pork thank you I love that the villagers actually are uh, feeding my dogs but yeah let's go here we have a new villager here and I'm super excited guys it's one of those uh, priest or whatever <laughs> they are called but anyway uh, he's uh, trading some enchantments and I have already unlocked this one so this is efficiency 2 on breaking 1 it's uh, not the best of course but uh, but anyway it's a uh, decent working um, axe and he's trading some redstone and a unbreaking 3 efficiency 3 uh, uh, iron pickaxe and I have one of those already and I actually uh, improve it uh, its efficiency already but yeah so th so that's okay to you know uh, working around the house and doing some mining that's that's okay even though it's it is a um, iron pick but this guy sells glowstone and he actually sells uh, one more glowstone than the other uh, priest villager so we have now two villagers uh, who will sell us glowstone so that's really really good and yeah he also trades pain of art uh, <laughs> I'm not even going to try pain of a <laughs> uh, swords so definitely not the uh, not the best one but I guess we will have to unlock this this one at some point too but not for now so anyway I'm su uh, super glad that we have another villager who will who will sell us glowstone so we don't have to go to the nether to find it but uh, I think we will still go to the nether nether quite soon because I believe I that I will need to have some quartz for the uh, decoration uh, decoration part when we are making furniture and all that all that stuff so so the nether trip is definitely going to going to come it's going to come da 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 so yeah let's go here and I believe there are some some villagers here okay so it's not this one maybe he was here and by the way guys I was I was thinking about um, editing this this texture pack so that we could have some more variety oh it was books oh dang it um, yeah so that we could have some more variety with the um, villagers uh, appearance so I was thinking about um, changing the villager skins to uh, the ones that we had in the um, John Smith texture pack so so yeah I will need to think about that one. Oh, and I don't I don't have enough paper that sucks 31 ah -ah. I think there is some some uh, villager, some librarian who will who will take these 27 papers I just need to find him hmm where is he? is it you? there you are thank you and there is someone who trades wool 
so I believe it was was it here yeah as you can see this one wants raw pork too uh, there uh, this is the lowest um, lowest for wheat I believe 18 at least what I have what I have in this little village oh oh okay so you are maxed out oh never mind we can unlock it okay there you go okay and you are fine now And by the way guys, this episode is probably going to be longer than than usual. I feel like doing some, some more recording today. So, we have traded some little things. And come here pups. Good doggies. So yeah. So glad, glad that we finally got another um, another priest villager and let's see yeah I was thinking that that um, that my game is glitching uh, that we could go and check out the map spawner here because it has been working. It's definitely not the most efficient thing in the world. But uh, but yeah, I want to show you how, how much gunpowder I have collected so far. Okay, sorry guys, I had to take a little coughing break. But anyway, yeah, I wanted to show you guys uh, how much I have got I've gotten some uh, gunpowder from this this mob spawner. And as you can see, it's not a whole lot, but it's working. It's definitely working somehow. It's definitely not the most efficient thing in the world, but we still get a little bit of um, bones and zombie jerky and arrows and the gunpowder is the reason why I want to build this this kind of uh, spawner in the first place okay and there's zombie zombie uh, meat there already I think there are some mobs up uh, up there but anyway yeah this is not definitely the <laughs> the most efficient thing in the world and I was thinking that I'm not quite sure if I'm going to um, continue using this very much, but on the other hand, are the pups coming? I guess they are. On the other hand, this area, this chunk hasn't been loaded quite often, because uh, I have actually noticed when I'm working around the house, like in the garden or on the other side of the house. Uh, this chunk is definitely not loaded which of course means that this spawner is not working and it seems that uh, I'm getting so so little of those mob drops but uh, yeah this is the place where I plan to build the fishing hut and I'm thinking that it's going to happen very soon because I can just AFK here for a long peri per period of times and uh, it's also close enough to the spawner that it's going to work work while I'm fishing so yeah um, the whole reason why I wanted to build the spawner inside a mountain is of course that I didn't want to build, build a, a separate tower building because I, I just felt that um, I don't know I, I didn't really have a good place for it and and yeah, I just didn't feel like building a random tower 
or if I would would have built a tower, I would need to have you know some kind of backstory or some kind of reason other than making a mob spawner for the tower. But anyway, it's it's working somewhat, and we will have to just see if it's starting to work a little more e efficient uh, when we have actually built the, the fishing hut there. Yeah, so that was the spawner that I want to show you. And yeah, since we do have 34 levels, we could just go and do some enchanting. And uh, I have actually been... Um, sorry, I'm blanking. I have been uh, enchanting some books already actually quite a lot and I will show them in to you in just a sec but first let's get some let's make some sticks and yeah there are some specific um, enchantments that I would like to have and one of them is definitely a looting sword so let's try <laughs> let's try what happens I'm pretty sure we are not going to get it this time either, but we can always try. <laughs> so yeah, let's go here. So yeah, this is the temporary library area, and I have already made an ender chest. Because as you may remember, the first uh, priest villager that we got, he actually trades uh, the eyes of uh, of the ender, or whatever that that is called. But anyway, and... Hmm, I do have some books, but yeah, let's try try the sword. Let's see what happens. And let's try. Is this a fourth one? I guess. Anyway, uh, cross your fingers, guys. Ah, knockback two. Only knockback two. Ah, dang it. But anyway, I'm glad we have all those bonus that we can gain XP very easily. But yeah, I wanted to show you my um, enchanted book collection. So we have Fortune 2, Power, Power 4, Aqua Affinity. Uh, the Respiration is the only one that works on this book. And Fire Protection. And I will definitely use the Fire Protection for some uh, diamond... Um, armor when we are going to the nether and another fire protection which is excellent because I definitely was hoping to get this for the nether and a projectile protection for efficiency 3 another efficiency book respiration 2 yeah something that I can't pronounce but anyway it kills spiders fast and actually I believe this one actually um, it only takes one hit to kill the spiner, so that's that's good for you know uh, going to the uh, abandoned mine shaft and that kind of thing, but nothing else really. And uh, projectile protection four again, and some some random enchantment, and I have to totally no idea where this came from. And luck of the sea, uh, protection for sharpness. And that's it. <laughs> so I will definitely continue enchanting books and try to get a looting sword because that would just be so awesome. And yeah guys, I, I just can't wait to get into decorating and to fill all these rooms and to come up with some ideas what I want to do, what kinds of furniture I want to make. But yeah, the very first uh, decoration uh, part is going to happen here in the dining room and I do have a uh, vision for this room already. I'm not sure if I mentioned this already. It's the pain meds guys. It's the pain meds. But yeah, I do have some ideas what I want to do here and I believe it's going to look very pretty. But yeah guys, I believe those were all the things that I wanted to say, all, all the things I wanted to show you. Except, yeah, 
there was something I wanted to mention you guys that I actually a uh, couple of weeks a couple of weeks back I actually tried to update this world to a uh, 1.7.10 version and for some reason the biggest problem was the chisel mod and uh, yeah it was confl conflicting so much that even though I used the right method you know by using the MC edit and uh, copying all the uh, all the buildings and all that stuff to a new world. Uh, the chisel mod just started conflicting so much that uh, first when I tried to uh, enter that new 1.7.10 world the game just ke kept crashing all the time and when it finally loaded or opened the, the world uh, pretty much everything was gone in this house. All the chiseled blocks which means all these walls and floors as well, except this uh, stained clay, all the walls were missing. And that's of course a quite a big problem. So I have no idea what to do with it. I'm not sure if it's a uh, issue with the uh, 1.7.10 mods or what, but I'm thinking that um, I'm probably going to wait until the mods have been updated to 1.8 before I will try to uh, update this world again. Because I definitely don't fa want to lose all this work. I love this house and I really love all the plans for these uh, different kinds of areas we have. I I just don't want to start start all over again and I definitely don't want to abandon this um, this world completely, you know. At least if we are going to upgrade, I definitely want to take this house and all these um, gardens and all my spawners as well, because we have all the spawners all here also. And and yeah, it just seems so so much work and I I don't know what's up with the mod, I don't know why, but all these chiseled blocks that just uh, turned invisible and that, that was so annoying. But yeah, so no upgrading to 1.7.10 guys. But I'm, I'm not sure if that's a uh, such a big loss, you know. Uh, we wouldn't get any new blocks in that update anyway and I I think it's a good idea idea just wait for the 1.8 um, update for the mods and for forge as well so yeah that's that's something something technical I guess that I wanted to share with you guys but yeah this has been a little longer episode than usual I hope you guys have been enjoying it anyway and thank you so much for watching and as always guys I hope that you are having a great day and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a great night guys. Bye bye.